The following opinions are solely those of Botest.com and its test captain. Hi, Captain Steve for Botest.com, and today I'm on the 391 for Meridian Yachts, probably the definitive Meridian yacht. We're going to test it with a pair of 380 horsepower Cummins engines and straight shafts and see how she does. Let's go over a couple of options. I want to get the air conditioner going, so that starts with a daily check on the generator located right underneath the cockpit hatch. Meridian offers two choices for generators based on the main power choice. If gas power is chosen, then a 10kW cola gas generator is available. With the diesel power of our test boat, we also have the optional 9kW Onan Jenny with sound shield. Daily engine checks are accomplished through either the hatch in the main salon or underneath the stairs to the flying bridge. Wide tread stairs provide comfortable access. I've also got secondary access to the generator and batteries from here. And the battery switches are just to the right. The twin Cummins diesels are easily reached via crawl space between the engines and to the outboard sides. To the aft bulkheads are the engine start stop buttons and I always like to have a look at the engines running to check for any leaks under pressure so to me this is a much appreciated feature. I also found the compartment to be well lit leaving no areas at all in the dark. The hatch in the salon is just under the movable pedestal table so it's a bit easier to use the cockpit entrance. And the ship's power panel is right inside the salon doors and it includes the controls for the optional generator. Meridian went with a helm layout that's attractive as it is functional. Twin optional ray nav displays are to either side of the digital depth gauge. Large analog gauges for each engine are to the outboard sides of the panel. And oh, how your service technician is going to appreciate how easy it is to get to the rear of the panel. Below and to the right are the SmartCraft display and autopilot. To the right of the wheel are the engine start stop buttons and the digital throttle and shift controls. And I've really come to appreciate the long sticks on these controls that allow for making operations while standing a comfortable affair. Behind are the thruster controls and ancillary switches. The helm seat is butter soft, swivels and slides, and also includes a comfortable flip-up bolster. Now let's get underway. The Meridian 391 sedan has a length overall of 40 feet 11 inches, a beam of 13 feet 11 inches, and a draft of 2 feet 9 inches. With an empty weight of 25,000 pounds, full fuel, and three people on board, we had a test weight of 28,705 pounds. With a pair of optional 380 horsepower Cummins QSV 6.7 liter engines driving our test boat, we reached a top speed at 3158 RPM of 30 miles per hour even. At that speed, we were burning a combined 37.9 gallons per hour, giving us a range of 249 miles. Best cruise is a bit surprising. Backing the throttle down to 2500 RPM and 19.6 miles per hour only increased the range by one mile, and it stayed the same at 2750 RPM and 23.9 miles per hour. For the short runs, it does pay to drop the speed, as the fuel burn will be less, but for distance cruising, go ahead and cruise at full speed. We reached planing speed at 6.7 seconds and accelerated through 20 miles per hour in 8.6 seconds. When advancing the throttle, the 391's bow comes up 11 degrees while maintaining clear sight lines to the horizon. Once on plane, she settled into a 5 degree bow high cruise attitude. When turning, she leans only 9 degrees into the turn, which I found to be quite comfortable. Even with her straight shafts and rudders, she doesn't have quite the tight turning radius of her smaller sister, but the response time to the helm is still there. She handles waves well, as can be seen by cutting through the wakes of the camera boat, and spray gets thrown well out to the sides for a relatively dry ride. Anyone transitioning into this cruiser from a smaller boat will have no trouble acclimating to the handling characteristics around the dock. I simply use the engine controls to direct the momentum of the 391, with the thrusters providing precise directional control. There are clear sight lines to the starboard side, and the stern is visible through the hatch to the stairs. Some additional operational features include these convenient fender holders in the steps to the side deck. At the transom, there's a conveniently placed grab rail. A freshwater shower is to port and the shore power connections are to starboard. And notice how the hatches are not only gasketed but notched to accommodate the cord. And even the platform has a channel for the cord to run through, eliminating the tripping hazard. Moving to the side decks shows handles in all the right spots. Well that's my sea trial of the 391 from Meridian Yachts. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.